Ahoj, Maria. Hi. Welkom bij Babel. Hi. Dankjewel. Uh, fijn dat ik je mag interviewen. Het is nu een week voordat je voorstelling voor het eerst gaat spelen. Ook al kijken mensen waarschijnlijk terug na de voorstelling. Um, maar uh, kan je ons iets vertellen over hoe het maakproces is geweest? Ja. Um... Yeah, uh, we we went through a lot of stages um, because uh, my work has uh, many layers, um, and the two most important layers is uh, the physical layer and the the dream layer. So the process was very focused on uh, the performers being acquainted or becoming acquainted with um, first of all uh, interpreting inspiration sources with their body mm. um, without their voice uh, or without acting but really uh, by moving and then um, the second one uh, was that they had to get used to um, following their imagination, because um, imagination is the really the core of my working method, uh, which is called the dream state of movement. Mm -hmm. um, and I think it was a very beautiful, um, yeah, process to see uh, everyone really evolving from day one uh, up till now um, and really exploring their imaginative mind and uh, their body in ways that they haven't um, done before. So mm -hmm. it was a very rich process, I think, for both of us and for me, um, It was very important as well because I learned a lot about my way of working with other mm -hmm. people and adapting and mm -hmm. pushing or stepping back. Mm -hmm. Heb je dan vooral geleerd over ja, die beweging die je moet maken van waar duw ik door, waar zet ik terug? Of heb je ook echt over je methode nieuwe dingen ontdekt? Ja. Yeah. Um, I think I, I learned something very important. Uh, I think that was the question, right? Yeah, it was... Uh, Discovered uh, something very important. Yeah, did you learn something about your method or did you learn something mostly in where you push and where you hold back? Yeah, uh, I think both. Oh. Um, about my method, um, I learned that... Um, The performer doesn't need to be in a very intense state of mind in order to um, convey this dream state. Uh, mm -hmm. Because I used to be very, um, I used to work a lot with uh, people having to be completely somewhere else. Um, mentally and completely gone and then uh, through this process actually I realized that the, um, the performance can be um, very dreamy and very um, in between without the performers uh, being dreamy themselves. Mm -hmm. So actually uh, by doing things uh, in a more simple way on, or in a more toned down way, then uh, you can achieve um, much more intensity in the performativity. And uh, with the pushing and stepping back, um, that was for me a really big challenge because um, I was a bit afraid uh, to be more strict with people sometimes uh, because of the inclusive context. Ja, want het klinkt alsof je uh, meer relaxed 
Yeah. Like, yeah, I was more relaxed and sometimes a little bit too relaxed, maybe. Mm. Uh, but then I realized that I can actually ask a bit more from them mm -hmm. and that they can handle it because I, I think I was a little bit too soft sometimes. Okay. But yeah. Uh, omdat het inclusief was? And, oh yeah. yeah, because I have never worked yeah, yeah. like this before. Yeah. En heb je dan gaandeweg wel ontdekt van oké, okay, maar ik mag wel echt professioneel en dingen vragen en eisen van de spelen? Um, ja, I mean, in general, I'm, I'm not so strict in my work anyway. Like when I work with people, mm -hmm. um, I'm really not that strict. <laughs> so it was not uh, different here. But the thing is um, that I was too careful. So then I learned that, okay, I don't have to be too careful if someone gets emotional or if mm. they say they don't want to do something. Yeah. Stop you. That I can, I can sometimes uh, say no or we're going to do it now. Yeah. Dat vind ik wel een mooie ontdekking, want inderdaad bij het inclusieve yeah. denk je misschien de eerste keer inderdaad, ik moet zorgen voor deze mensen, ze zijn kwetsbaar, yeah. maar ja, het zijn ook wel echt, zeker bij Babel, kunstenaars die theater maken en daarin echt ook wel mm -hmm. gepusht mogen kunnen worden, yeah. om ook hun eigen grenzen weer te verleggen. Denk ik. Ja. En daarmee moet ik denken aan ons vorige interview, dat uh, voor de, de website en de nieuwsbrief is gemaakt. Um, daarin zei je, het project is voor mij geslaagd als de spelers um, uh, ergens geraken waar ze voorhand niet van wisten dat ze daar zouden kunnen geraken. Ik weet niet of ik mezelf nu <laughs> goed uitdruk. Ja. Maar ja. is dat gelukt om ze in een andere te krijgen. Yes, um, I think it worked out in a totally different way than what mm. I expected. Um, but I only realized it uh, last week when we did everything with light and uh, music. Um, And then I saw suddenly a totally different concentration from everyone. And then it was really like um, I was sucked into a different world. Mm. So I think um, they managed to uh, be in a place that was unknown to them before. And with some people, I was really, um, yeah, shocked with their development um, during the rehearsal processes. So. Ben je dan trots op de spelers en op jezelf? Yeah, I think so. <laughs> yeah. Mm. yeah. En zou je nog meer inclusief willen werken hierna? Definitely. Mm. Ja, yeah, it, uh, it really opened uh, another window for me, this inclusive work. And I think my work also um, really suits inclusive um, theater or inclusive dance. Because um, The most important thing is my work, as I said before, um, it's imagination and everyone has that. There is no person who doesn't have imagination. So I think it's a really good environment for me. Mm. Well, thank you well for this interview. Thank you. And veel success. Thank you. For the week.